Yu the Great, was a legendary hero in prehistoric times of China, and the founder of China's first dynasty, the Xia. His contribution to China was, for his introduction of flood control, and taming the waters of the Yellow River. He was one of the few leaders in China, honored with the title, the Great, putting him in line with Han Wu the Great, and Kangxi the Great. Because of his contribution, people call him Daewu, in Chinese, with De means great. Most of the facts collected, and preserved about the personal life and career of Yu, came from the collection of oral tradition, and stories shared from generation to generation. Until the recent excavations of palaces, mausoleum, and bronze, that showed evidence about the existence of Xia dynasty. Father of Yu the Great was Gun, a descendant of Yellow Emperor. He was born in the year of the Tiger, at Mount Wen, modern-day Sichuan province. In prehistoric times, people suffered a lot from torrential floods of the Yellow River. The situation became even worse while Shun was the leader. During his reign, a great flood outbursted, and took away countless people's home and lives. Then, King Shun commanded Gun to fight against the deluge. He adopted a method of building embarkments with soil, to block the raging water. However, this traditional way no longer worked very well. Nine years later, with a large number of resources, and labors having been invested, the flood was still devouring lives and houses, and seemed would never stop. Gun was assassinated, under the command of the king, for having failed to defend the flood, and caused even more loses to the kingdom. After Gun passed away, Yu was then ordered to succeed his father, as the next commander to defend a huge flood. Unlike his father, Yu didn't try to block, or plug the flood. Instead, he led people to dug canals, on the usually flooded areas, and dredged the rivers with outlets leading to the sea. For 13 years, he dedicated his time and strength to this project, without going home, even when his wife gave birth to their son Ki. After that, Yu the Great organized people to rebuild their shelters, and develop agriculture, by fully utilizing water and soil. In some ancient myths and legends, Yu the Great, also defeated many monsters bravely, and saved many people's lives. During that time, rulers were usually chosen according to their abilities. King Shun chosen Yu, because of his great contribution, excellent leadership. Afterward, he was respected as King Yu the Great. After Yu became a king, he organized and divided his whole country into nine states, then designated each group to live in one of the nine provinces. Yu the Great, named his kingdom as Xia Dynasty, and made Yang Cheng, modern-day Deng Feng, the capital. Yu the Great, also established a comprehensive tribute and tax system, based on different products, and geology situation in those nine states. From that time on, the kingdom of Yu the Great became an empire with a powerful monarch, and his kingdom Xia turned to be the first dynasty in the history of China. Before Yu the Great passed away, he passed the throne to Bo Yi, the talented and brave assistant, that helped Yu defeated the Great Flood. However, after Yu departed, his son Si Qi got the throne. In some records, Bo Yi gave the throne to Si Qi, while others stated that Si Qi obtained the throne through wars. Anyway, Si Qi became the monarch of the Xia Empire, and passed the throne to his son before he departed. Before Qi, all the rulers of China were chosen by abdication system, a system based on one's ability, and nobility to become a leader. It was Si Qi, who started the hereditary succession. Since then, all the Chinese kings and emperors, gave the throne to their sons, unless they didn't have sons, or were forced to abdicate. Yu the Great, reigned for about 45 years, and were said to have died because of an illness, while hunting at Kuei Mountain. He was also buried on that site.